ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स पर्सनली फॉर मी अ थर्टी मिनट वॉक ऑन द ट्रेडमिल यू कैन सी आई हैड इन द बिगिनिंग इट सेल्फ आई हैड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ नी प्रॉब्लम सो Three, four days into it, I was like, "Ye kya kardiya?" What you just a few things that you mentioned just br- takes me back a few months. A very unprecedented event happened in terms of the yatra. Personally, for me, a thirty-minute walk on the treadmill. <laughs> you can see four thousand kilometers. and connecting with people in a very different way how has that changed your perception about people and how has it helped you connect with people differently see the first question to ask is why were we walking 4000 kilometers right you know it, it's what what created the need for us to do this uh, and the reason is that all avenues of communication in india were shut every single avenue no matter what we did it was all shut we spoke in parliament that's not televised we go to the media they don't pick up what we say we even go with documents to the legal system nothing happens so all our avenues were shut and for a long time we literally couldn't understand how to communicate and then suddenly we hit upon the idea ki bhai agar media aapko logon ke paas nahi le ja raha institutional system aapko logon ke paas nahi le ja raha to fir directly chale jao and then what better way to go directly than to literally go walking across the country and so that's what we did and i must tell you uh, i had a i had a, in the beginning itself i had a little bit of a knee problem so 3 4 days into it i was like ye kya kar diya i was like i was like you know because you get up in the morning i i go running and so you get up in the morning and you say okay i'm going to go run 10 kilometers and you're like okay and then you get up in the morning you say i got to walk 4000 it's a completely different paradigm you know so there was moments of that that okay this is quite a big thing uh, but it went surprisingly easy it was not difficult at all uh, and it fundamentally changed the way i think about my work um i would say that it completely changed how i view politics how i view our people uh, how i communicate with our people uh, how i listen to people and not just me there were many people involved in the yatra and all of us and to me the most powerful thing that happened organically on its own we didn't actually do it it just happened was that we introduced certainly for the first time in india possibly for the first time in many many countries the idea of love in politics and this seems strange you know it's a strange thing because you look at the political discourse in most countries and you will never find the word love in that discourse it just doesn't exist anywhere you'll find hatred you'll find anger you'll find unfairness you'll find corruption you'll find all these words but you will never find the word love in the language and the bharat jodo yatra actually introduced that idea into the indian political system and it has amazed me how that idea has worked So now when you reflect on on the yatra and you think about you know some of the key moments that happened is there any like like a aha moment that you want to share with us that 
you never expected it to happen, but it happened in a positive I'll way. I'll tell you what I realized. And many of you, I mean, many of you people who are in business school and other public-facing spaces, I realized that actually when I was in the Yatra, the Yatra was speaking on its own. So I realized that I was there, but pretty much everything that was coming out of my mouth was actually coming from the Yatra, not for me. Right? So there was thousands of people, they were telling me things, it was going, I was listening to them, they were telling me things, and then their words were coming out of my mouth. So I was not communicating as Rahul. I was communicating as the, as, as the Yatra was communicating. And it took me a little while to figure this out because first I was like, oh, I'm giving a speech and I have this idea and I'm going to see this. But then suddenly it started to occur to me that every single thing coming out of my mouth is actually things people have said to me. And the most beautiful uh, example of this was this uh, slogan that came, which is, Nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukaan khol rahe ho, right? Now, now, now you're clapping, you're clapping, but the slogan did not come, it was not my slogan, right? It was not even a slogan of the organizers. It was a guy who came, I saw him, and he was walking with us, and there was a rope which used to surround us, and he was trying to come in, and he couldn't come in. The police would beat him. So I saw him once there, then I saw him somewhere else. And then I told Alankar, who's standing there, I said, Deho, usko leao. So anyway, Alankar went looking for him, he had disappeared. Then after some time he came out, we, he charged through the police, and then he pointed at me like that. And he said, Main janta hu aap kya kar rahe ho. Main janta hu aap kya kar rahe ho. So I said, Kya kar rahe ho? He said, Aap nafrat ke bazaar mein mohabbat ki dukaan khol rahe ho. Oh. Right? So, so then I realized, I realized that this is not me. This is the sentiment of the crowd that is speaking. And so that would happen again and again. It would happen sometime. Once it happened when a uh, woman came up to me, held my hand, is walking. And I could feel that something was wrong with the way she was holding my hand. So I said, what happened? She said, who is killing me? I said, who is killing me? She said, who is killing me? So I said, Matlab? She said, No, I was killing me, I was So I said, So what do I do? So I said, Police people know? She said, No, 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 don't tell the police. Don't tell the I said, Why? She said, I'll kill you. Now, that's a sentiment of thousands and thousands, I realize that's a sentiment of thousands and thousands of women. That they're being mistreated, they're being treated violently, but they can't say anything. It's hidden. Right? So now when I'm speaking to you right now, I'm saying these things to you, it's not me. It's that girl who's saying it to you. I just transmitted it. So that's the job, in my view, of a politician. 